The people building this home wanted a warm and inviting living room. A pressed copper ceiling from Emboss Inc. satisfied their requirement. The first step in installing this copper ceiling is to screw a plywood base into the joist. The copper panels will be nailed into this base. To start their layout, the crew measures the axis of the ceiling. They snap a chalk line down the center of the ceiling in both directions, creating a crosshair in the center. They mark the layout and chalk a square where each field tile will go. The smooth metal panels can be difficult to hold in place and nail. The crew removes the protective plastic and applies the ceramic tile adhesive to the back. Although adhesive is not necessary for fastening the panels in place, it's used for keeping the panel up while fastening with nails. Okay. Then they place the panel into its approximate final position. The installers butt the first panel against two of the chalk lines of the crosshair and nail the first field panel into position. Overlapping the prior field panel, they continue to nail adjacent field panels. They carefully position each field panel to maintain the continuity of the pattern. Tin snips are used to cut out holes for light fixtures and air vents. Bill Perk of Emboss Inc. says the ceilings of yesteryear have returned to popularity due in part to today's innovative uses and improved manufacturing processes. Take any ceiling from boring to brilliant with an emboss ink tin ceiling. In the old days, they used to take what was called a drop hammer press. And these things were drawn up by rope or chain. And the tool was smashed down upon a mating tool with the metal in between. And the impact was enough to start to impress the metal. And they would do this several times. And eventually the impression would be solid enough in the piece. Today we do very similar process, only it's done all mechanical, it's done with a hydraulic press. We actually went on a mission and we were able to scour older buildings, uh, grab old examples of the original tins, and we came up with a way to actually reproduce those. We were able to take a product that was geared towards high end and uh, basically obscure. We were able to bring it out to the masses so that they can see it and as well afford it. Eventually we got around to having customers send in examples of maybe a beautiful ceiling they have but it has a damaged area and they're at a loss as to how to repair it without having to replace the whole thing and now we have a process to we're able to replicate it at a minimal expense and they're able to retain that gorgeous look. Structurally the ceiling system doesn't add any weight. There's no need to reinforce the ceiling for this type of installation. This installation actually has copper nails. These are cone head nails that are historically correct. This is what they used 150 years ago when they were installing these. Uh, they have a conical shape so that they're somewhat decorative because they will be exposed. But the placement of the nail in the panel is, is fairly concealed. It, it's, it's done in a way so that it's smooth and continuous with the free-flowing ceiling. A cornice is installed around the edges trim. The seams of the cornice can be cut with a compound miter saw using a high-speed metal cutting blade. Emboss can also create custom stamp panels featuring logos, family crests, and other designs. The panels come in untreated aluminum too, but the aluminum needs to be painted or clear coated in the field before installation because it will oxidize. The copper will also oxidize and acquire a green patina over time if it isn't treated. Some homeowners prefer that look and choose to leave the copper untreated and let nature take its course. It gives you a sense of expression in one more area of the house that most people neglect. I mean, you spend the time on the walls, you spend the time on the floors, nobody puts any attention to the ceiling. So this allows you to express yourself in the ceiling as well. It gives you an opportunity to dance the light around the room, to draw the attention from not just the floor and the, and the walls, but to the ceiling as well. It's very traditional. It's definitely a drawback to the old times. And with all the effort being put into homes today to give you that century look, this is definitely a, a step in that direction. For more information on how you can have a classic stamped metal ceiling for your new house, contact Emboss on the internet at embossinc.com.
take any ceiling from boring to brilliant with an embossed ink tin ceiling.